right, so today I want to make the brake system for this. Uh, I have this here, old brake stuff, and I have this new brake caliper and uh, brake thing here. I also have this switch that needs to go on here. This is for brake lights. Um, <clears throat> so a few things. I have no extra brake fluid. Uh, I'm probably going to have to bleed this before I install it. Because uh, I'm probably going to be putting this horizontal on here. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't think this is going to be long enough to reach where it actually needs to go. So those are all things we're going to have to figure out today. <laughs> so, first things first. Well, let's swap this over. So, uh, to swap this over, obviously I'm going to lose some brake fluid. Because uh, I have to undo a bolt here. So, I really don't want to. I don't have more brake fluid. I'll probably have to go buy some because I'll probably need some. I can't imagine that I wouldn't need some. Now all I'm trying to do here is change out this fastener, really. Guess let's make sure they're the same thread pitch, huh? Damn it. They're not. I wonder if I can ruin it. Yep. Cool. So if this thing's going to do me no good anyway, let's just see if we can uh, make it what it needs to be. So this is a thread restorer kit. This would have stuff anyway. Uh, by stuff, I mean uh, seals on the end of it. So I'm not too worried about the threads uh, being able to either being to seal so let's see what we can do let's see if we can run this thread restorer down there and make it threads it shouldn't be yeah because I'm either gonna get a working piece out of this or I have trash anyway let's hope I can get a working piece out of it, it seems to be going well well, it certainly looks like a the fitting I need now. Hopefully it's got enough threads where I can actually tighten up. Oh yeah, there we go. We're getting there. All right. Well, holy moly, that seems to have worked. All right, next, I want to get this pedal ready to get mounted because that's going to mount based on where this mounts. So I got a few things. First, this is its mount. So as you can tell, that ain't so hot. I want to cut it off, cut this apart, get this ready to put it on the tractor. All right, we got stud, stud, bracket. <coughs> so now I want to get them all cleaned up, get them ready to go on the new thing. So. To get these all cleaned up, uh, let's get the grinder.
So now these are ready, but you'll look. Ew. All right, the next thing I want to do is clean these up, get a nice little bevel on here so I can weld it together nice and solid. All right, so I got them cleaned up, and you'll see I beveled these two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this whole thing with weld. I'm going to work around from the middle and just do a bead, then take this out, and then I can spin it and just keep doing passes until I fill this whole thing. And what that'll do is make sure it's solid again. Because with my TIG on 110, there's no way I'd be able to get down there. So, that's how I'll do it. Alright, I just finished welding it. You can feel the heat radiating off of it. This whole part is hot. I mean, look at it compared to the size of my finger. That is a lot. So, I'm going to let this cool for a bit. See how it straightens out or warps or whatever. I tried to do it evenly around to try and keep it straight in the end. So once it cools, we'll see what we got. Now, no less than 12 inches from center to center, right? 11. But I realized that we're actually okay like that because I'm probably going to lose some height here while in the top of that pedal back on. So it'll make up for itself. Now, let's go take a look and see how this has got to be under here. That'll work out really good, actually. Let's see. All right. Now I'm going to tack it on both sides, weld the top, weld the bottom, weld all around real nice and good like. All right. This is cooled for a little bit. Nice and cool now. Yes. Waka, 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 waka. So let's see, whoops, does it still fit? Yes, very nice, very nice. All right, so the next thing I wish to do is ream up one of these holes so this can actually fit. So this is the new pin for the new brake. It's obviously bigger than the old one was. Does new pin fit? New pin fits. We've got that pin to fit. So now let's figure out how it needs to go. So if this is going to be there and against that, there's my lever. I want this to be a little here. Let's go pretty much straight up and down. And let's go close to this side. Now I'm going to weld this one on both sides. And then we'll figure probably the spring somewhere too. Maybe we'll put that one over there. All right, this is still pretty hot, but I'm going to press on. Let's get this fingered in because I want to be able to sit flat to maximize its uh, stuffs. Idea. Still got some quarter inch. Let's drill it. We'll put a quarter inch stud. Weld that in and that way I can pretty much Put this on and i think a quarter inch should be more than enough material and then later if i when i take this apart i could if i can get in there i can fill whatever's left too so let's do that <clears throat> there we go now i can fill that bevel with weldle weldle bevel Get that solidly welded in there without making it too much bigger. Yeah. All right, now with that uh, quarter inch rod welded in there, now I need to make the pedal ready to attach, which means drill a quarter inch down the center here. All 
All right, now with that drilled, now let's clean the paint off of this guy. All right, that is where it needs to be. All right, so now I need to figure out how much of that quarter inch I need, which if you look, there's not gonna be much left of it. So I got the pedal welded on underneath. Yeah, so it won't be much at all. It almost makes me think I should have keyed the bottom of this to go together and just put a bolt in it. That would have been sweet. Because <clears throat> once this is finally installed, it will not be able to come off again. <sighs> so let's get some grease on it. It's on there now. All right, now I gotta plug weld that pedal on there. All right, I got that plug welded on there. So we're gonna clean it up. Putting it there will let me already have tension on it. So right there is where I'm gonna want this. So I'll need a little magnet and then I can weld this on. Ugh. All right, let's go see how all of this kind of goes together. Let's bring some needle nose in case we need them for the spring. Yeah, we're gonna need them. Woo. This is gonna work well. Whew. Let's pull the magnet off. Ooh, see, that's what I didn't want. All right, I'm willing to bet, like everything else, this is also metric. And I have no metric stuff for taps and dies or threaded things. So let's cut it and weld some more on, shall we? This is going to be sketchy with this whole thing built up. I'm going to have to try and keep it cool so I'll have some air to do little welds and blow it off to cool it in between. That way I don't overheat anything, hopefully, and burn up any seals. So let's weld one onto here first so we got less cooling to worry about. All right, so I got that one welded onto there. Oops. So now let's add our length. Let's say back to here just to make sure it's clear. I'm gonna have to ground this and hope that that is enough to conduct. Oh, 
typically is. All right, so now I'm gonna carefully weld it. All right, so I got it welded on there. Managed to keep it cool. You can see even the coating's still good. So happy about that. Let's get this little boot pulled back out. There we go. And it still works. So I added two and a half inches to it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the reason I didn't want that was so that way I could have this at least level or higher than the front. And what that'll do is keep it from bleeding dry. So there we go. If I can do that now, boom. See, I could put it at an angle too, a little bit. It'll work. Just put it at a little bit of an angle. And as you see here, I'm gonna need a plate here, a quarter inch plate. Let's go make that mount now. Now I need to weld it. So I'm gonna attack these and then I'll pull the bolts out and then weld them up. All right, well, I've got that welded up now. I'll tuck it up to the frame close like that too. Yes. Just like that. All right, so I got that welded. Let's see how hot it still is. Uh, I didn't clean it up. Whatever else. It's still pretty hot. I just did one bead here. I didn't go on the back. I'll do that when I flip it to do all this other welding. I'll weld the back. Hopefully not too hot. Let's see. That were mounted there. That might actually work. We got our brake in there. We got our brake uh, light plug here. We got a brake there. We're going to have to figure out where it's going to go and make its mount, but we got the cylinder we got the pedal there working Ugh. gas clutch brake boom close enough i can do either or both look at that yes i am ready for business mm-hmm i might make that a little taller so I get a little more throw out of it oh man I am ready for business here Yes, and then that sits there nicely, so you can see that I'm low on fluid. Well, we got clutch, brake, gas, we got those. I'll do the mount for that some other day. I don't feel like that's a day. I really don't know what I'm going to do next, but that's all for today. I know that much. See you next time.